First, a neighborhood in shock were following that developing story out of Clearwater. Detectives still trying to figure out who killed this couple, both in their 80s. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jameson Euler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbach is live on Flushing Avenue, where the couple live. Sarah, do police have any leads yet? I just got off the phone with those police officers. They won't tell us that they have any specific leads, but we know they have not made any arrests tonight. And they spent about 48 hours coming through every inch of this house. Tonight, they're urging all of us for tips. You just don't expect it, and it's just a shock. Helen Scott is still in disbelief that she'll never see her neighbor of 40 years or her neighbor's husband again. They've always been there. In this neighborhood, neighbors consider themselves family, and Bob Anderson is taking the news hard. That's a horrific crime. On Saturday, a neighbor and Mina's daughter discovered the crime scene when they walked into an unlocked door. That neighbor telling us the house was perfectly neat, leading police to believe this wasn't a break-in or a robbery. Nothing could justify them doing that to them. The Pinellas County School District confirms 80-year-old Mina Swan worked for 16 years as an art teacher at Clearwater High School. Neighbors say her 88-year-old husband, David, was a certified public accountant. Neighbors say they weren't the type of people to have any enemies. They were nice people and they'll be missed. Detectives are now interviewing family members, friends, and anyone who had contact with this couple in recent weeks. They are adding that neighbors should not be worried about their own safety in this neighborhood tonight. Reporting live in Clearwater, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.